So I thought I'd come down here and get rid of the, the FUC. But now he's just had enough and he's, uh, he's painted over it. It may have been Banksy or his fans, but the graffiti war continued along the canal. Banksy put quite a good one, actually. It was, uh, I don't believe in global warming. Blanked out the global and I turned it into war. So it said, I don't believe in war. And next year I went, it's too late for that, Sonny. He painted over it all and then put a bird with a roller head. And then I come back and I put, he's not the Messiah, he's a very naughty boy. Robo Team Robo. Team Robo, as he stands for anyone that believes Banksy done a wrong move by using someone else's artwork. And once you agree with that, you're Team Robo. It's a loosely knitted thing, it ain't the crew where you've got to be invited into it. This one here had a, an Uckerberry thin fishing and they pulled out a Banksy tag. I got rid of the Banksy tag and I put, I put a placard up there saying street crew. He's not got those street crew, but real writers because I just think he's a sellout who lives off graffiti. When I put street cred, he put no fish inside. It's pretty lame, really. What started off as tit for tat one upmanship between Rubbo and Banksy degenerated into a wider battle of vitriol and personal insults between Team Robbo and Banksy's fans. Then Robbo called into question Banksy's artistic integrity. He, he nicked the rats from Black the Rat from France. He was the original rat stenciler. So I thought Banksy the Rat, so everyone gets the connection with Black and Banksy. <laughs> This is my original rat that I used to spray in the streets of Paris in uh, 1981. As an art student in the 70s, Black visited New York. The graffiti he saw there inspired him, just as it would Robbo to produce his own graffiti. But Black wanted to create a new style. Instead of freehand letter writing, he used stencils. First of rats, then of human figures, often with a socio-political message. One of the pivotal moments of street art was when Black was inspired to start stenciling full-size figures in the street. That's when street art began to find its voice. It wasn't a tag, it was saying something. It must have been insane walking through Paris in the 80s and you turn a corner and there across the street would be a figure. It's almost ghost-like. He didn't know what was going to happen. He didn't know that in 20, 25 years he was going to be hailed as the godfather of street art. He was just doing it. Nor did Black realise that his own very individual style be so closely replicated on the streets of Britain. I used to make a lot of soldier when I see Banksy making a soldier or when I see Banksy making a, a uh, Madonna with a child, uh, or when I see Banksy making rats, of course, I see immediately where he takes the idea. Banksy declined to comment on this, but in the past, he acknowledged his debt to Black in a newspaper interview.
Do you feel a bit cross and a bit angry? Ah. Uh. It's difficult to say, you know. Yeah. A little bit, yes, of course, because uh, when you when you're an artist and you you use your own techniques, it's difficult to find a technique, a style, you know, in art. So when you have a style and you see that someone else is taking your style and uh, reproduce it, you don't like that. I'm not sure about his integrity, you know. The Banksy Robo thing, as an artist, is that a very bad thing if you have a piece that's 25 years old? To have something yeah. painted? Yeah. It's absolutely terrible. Maybe he has to show his face now and say, I'm Banksy and show that kind of guy he is. Because it's true that some people say, oh, Banksy is a, is a prick. And, uh, I know other people have, a lot of young people, they, they consider Banksy like a, like a god. Yeah. <laughs> is en route to the canal. He's willing to risk his life and liberty to strike back at Banksy. We've got to jump around a, a spiked fence and then cross the train tracks. You've got to be concerned with the electric rails because that'll liven you up. A lot of thought and a lot of planning goes into it just to cut down your odds of getting arrested. You've got to know where all the CCTV is. You turn off your phones, pull your batteries out of your phones so you can't be tied to any masks. How everything thing goes to plan and get away with it without ending up in a police cell. Job done. Lovely. What happens if you do get caught? Do you run? Oh yeah, I will bolt. Don't worry about that. I don't want to get arrested. I cut down and do the odds as much as I can in my favour. The rest is in the hands of the gods. From this point on, Robbo's wearing a head-mounted night vision camera. He wants to show what's all in a night's work to the graffiti bomber, but is something rarely seen by outsiders. If caught, Robbo could face years in prison. Now again for the juices to flow, do you know what I mean? A short walk down the towpath from the scene of Robbo's battle with Banksy, the graffiti war is raging on another front. 
within Islington, we're trying to make our borough as clean, green and as attractive as we possibly can. Our policy on graffiti is that we don't allow graffiti. Graffiti is, as a, is criminal damage. So people who are spraying graffiti onto walls or tagging are, are committing a criminal act. Yes, we have arrested people. We've been successful in taking a few people to court. And um, two or three people have actually been sent to prison for the mindless vandalism that they've caused. Above the graffiti writing that Martin and Darren are removing, a piece of street art is being left alone. Some people might say they're more or less the same. Why are you taking yeah. one off and not the other one? Yeah, the, the, that is the argument with with art or what you call art or graffiti. I mean, to me, personally, you should, you should remove everything, really. It's hard to, to decipher what is uh, art and what is vandalism or criminal damage. If we come across a piece that we're not sure of, we have to uh, take pictures and then give it to our manager and we'll decide whether we can remove it or keep it. As the head of service, I do have some discretion and um, with regard to street art, um, there are pieces of very attractive street art that feature in books and calendars and magazines and websites. With some of the Banksy work that we've got, my personal opinion is that they are very artistic. I genuinely believe that it does add value. So when you say add value, what, what does that mean? Um, the, well, the stuff that we've got, there are groups of people that come to look at this kind of work because work of Banks's has been sold off for huge sums of money. Does it add value? Is it art? Graffiti writers see the approach by councils across the UK as double standards. Writers routinely attack Banksy pieces in the street, leaving the onlooker in no doubt as to which guerrilla artist they support in the graffiti war. It keeps Kenny's council very busy. I think with some of the Banksy pieces that we've had vandalised, we have occasionally gone round there and repaired them. So, for example, there was one where it was the museum attendant who had a mirror behind him and somebody actually wrote something offensive on the mirror. Well, we could have easily have just painted the mirror out with white paint or whatever colour paint it was, but then the piece wouldn't have made any sense. So what the guys carefully did was actually paint out the slogan or the rude word so that the piece was whole again. It's got to a stage where Graffiti is still 100% outlawed and it's still illegal, unless you're Banksy, <laughs> when it's celebrated and preserved. Which is, you know, that's good for Banksy, but it's, it's kind of unfair on all the writers, because whether it is graffiti, whether it's street art, you know, when you come up before the judge, does the judge ask for a definition? Is he a graffiti artist or is he a street artist? Is he street artist? Oh, that's okay, we'll let you off. Graffiti? No. When asked to comment on being given preferential treatment, Banksy said this. Robbo is preparing to attack another Banksy piece. Hope the camera looking. But while Banksy is protected under perspex, Robbo risks arrest and prosecution for criminal damage. See how quick and easy it is to do a stencil. No skill whatsoever. Someone seems to be stopping and looking. Fucking hell. It's looking like off the bat of me. Look, look, one sec, let me finish doing this and I'll talk to others, alright? Because right, I've yeah. got to do this, yeah? Thanks. It's quick as easy and simple as that on a stencil. 